Welcome to Julia Among the Stars. Now let's just jump in, shall we? Warning. Catastrophic failure imminent. Commencing unscheduled termination of cryogenic chamber operation. <laughs> Greetings, Rachel Manners. Please exit the cryo chamber and proceed immediately to the main deck. Hello, computer. Thank you for arriving so quickly, Rachel. I know you may be a little disoriented, but I need your help. What's going on? And where is everybody? The probe has been hit by a meteor storm. Several core systems have malfunctioned and the probe is in danger of catastrophic failure. You must repair these systems immediately. This is getting better every second. You know that I'm an astrobiologist and not a systems engineer, right? The vast majority of repair functions are automated. Unfortunately, the automatic maintenance of the life support sector is broken beyond repair. You need to reduce hazardous conditions or you won't be able to survive. All right, computer. You've won. Thank you, Rachel. And by the way, call me Julia. It's much better than calling me computer. Don't you think? Let me switch to a situation overview. Damn, this looks pretty serious. I wouldn't wake you up if it wasn't. So what do you need me to do? Just click on any red area on the map and I will tell you more. Oh, this is how it works, okay. Uh, let's take this one. There are three conditions we need to eliminate. Electricity, fire, and poisonous gas fumes. So I can use sprinklers to put out the fire, ventilators to get rid of the gas, and circuit breakers to turn off the electricity, right? Exactly. Only don't use water until the electricity is fixed. And don't use ventilators on the flames, or the fire will spread uncontrollably. I'm on it. Please brief me on my situation while I'm fixing this mess. You're currently on board an interstellar probe, JXZN12586. As of now, we're orbiting an unknown planet in the solar system of NGC9725. Everyone else is down on the planet. However, my contact with the crew was severed, so I cannot reach them anymore. Why was I left behind? You have been kept in the cryo chamber. What? I'm all alone on this probe, and all you can tell me is that we're in orbit and the crew left me here. My memory blocks have been damaged, Rachel. I'm not able to tell you much more. Oh joy, I'm stuck somewhere in space with an amnesiac computer. Do you have any kind of plan, computer? When you finish these repairs, I need you to send Mobot down for a crew extraction. They have some major explaining to do. Okay. Uh, it could be that Rachel isn't very, very much liked uh, among the crew, so they left her to die. So, we have to water system check. Uh. Okay. Click on a room to see its current condition. Uh huh. Okay, we have to. Oh, I shouldn't do that. Burn. Okay. 
So this is the game. We go to from room to room. And fine. Huh, okay. Everything all right? My bad, my bad. Huh? Okay, this seems to be the game. Or the tutorial. We can do this. Probably. Find the electrical system that powers. There you go. I think it's fixed. Great job, Rachel. I can now switch us back to a default interface. Yay, we saved the ship! I finished the automated repairs as well. So now you want me to go down there, right? No, that could be too hazardous, because we still do not know what happened to the crew. We will use Mobot. He is perfect for operations in practically any environment you can think of. You are the last crew member on this probe, and we can't risk anything happening to you. Switch on the planet view and commence the landing procedure. Okay, how do I do that? Phone and check. Chip seems to be alright. Messages, mobots. Ooh, that's a badass bot. Now oh, upgrades available, probe, solar system. Scanning planet. Landable. Okay, let's do that. Wow. I don't believe it. I'm finally seeing the surface of a distant planet up close. I've been waiting for this moment for such a long time. This planet is Xenophon. I'll try to obtain some data about it from my backup database. Hopefully that one wasn't erased. Pardon my interruption, but my sensory reading suggests that this planet is polluted by an incredible amount of radiation. This is strange. This planet was thought to be one of the primary targets for our main mission. If this was our primary target, does that mean the whole mission was senseless? Could you estimate the cause? According to my preliminary tests, everything alive on this planet would have been wiped out approximately 500 years ago by a huge explosion. This explosion seemed to be hundreds of thousands of times more powerful than the most powerful nuclear bomb on Earth at the time of our departure. The planet obviously never recovered from this unnatural catastrophe. Julia, what's this thing down there on the map? It looks like an artificial structure. I think it's well worth exploring. I'm activating Mobot's exploration mode. Okay, let's check it out. The station looks lifeless and deserted. Where has everybody gone? I'm uploading a map blueprint to ease your orientation. Hot 
but... Okay, we can do this. Commentary. These storage units contain equipment used for planetary exploration. Ah, uh, now comes the... Uh, point and click adventure part, I guess. Judging by the surroundings, it doesn't seem the crew ever needed them. Those antennas provided a communication data channel between the station and the probe. Commentary. These... Okay. This ladder doesn't look very sturdy. The station was never meant to last that long, Rachel. I would estimate that they must have fallen out of the storage space. This doesn't look good. Why would the crew have left it like that? Okay. That's moving platform. This served to transport crew members in and out of the station. Commentary. I don't need it myself. Okay, the crew let Rachel left for dead because they didn't like her. And... Now they are disappeared on a planet ravaged by a nu huge nuclear explosion, and now under the surface, I guess, uh, is living a new breed of super nuclear mega mutants who kidnapped them and has probably eaten the entire crew. That's my guess so far. Let's get it. Okay, this is okay, this is just point and click. There's no 3D walking around. Do I have Oh, okay. I can at all times go back to the ship. Okay. No, ah. I didn't want to go back. I mean, go back to the ship. Let's land. Again. Okay. Pressure chamber. Okay, we are in the pressure chamber. Uh, it's, this really looks ravaged. And again. The power is off. As far as I was briefed, the stations were powered by solar panels. We should try searching for them outside. Good idea, Rachel. We won't be able to enter the station without power anyway. Okay, let's go to the outside. Uh... What happened to this shuttle? Shouldn't it be safely perched on top of the station? Might I suggest possible seismic activity? Objection. The rest of the landscape speaks against this possibility. Hmm. Well, guess it's for us to find out. Observation. It bears an inscription of some sort. Read it for us, please. Apology, the writings have faded away a long time ago. It looks almost like a tombstone. And it might well be, Rachel. Okay. And we scan it. Okay, it seems there was some time difference between the point where the crew left Rachel to die and the... Um, well, the mutants who killed them. Atomic super mutants. That. Some objects are half buried in the dust. Can you be more specific? I think they were once solar panels. Okay, let's uncover it. This looks like a part of the solar panels device. Nice, okay. Let's restore power to this thing. Hey! Ernest, how's it going? Obviously they never had time. Reflector. This catwalk was originally meant to create a controlled passage without any risk of disturbing the environment. Another thing which the crew never bothered to use properly. Yes, uh, Judy Among the Stars is... Uh, 
we were supposed to use it to bring samples directly into our laboratory containment unit. I wonder what the crew found here. It was never used because it's still sealed. But it's in space, so it's better than the average. Uh, Some objects are half buried in the dust. Can the you be more specific? I think they were. Okay, I think I, I got the clue why I to do it. I think I've uncovered all of the solar panels. They look broken though. The panels are not broken, they are just overturned. I will, however, require assistance with their calibration. Let me get them back to their desired position first. Uh -huh. So we have to connect them. Solar panels. Okay. Good. Okay. Solar panels should be. Ah, okay. Ha! That should be an astronaut. Out of the station, let's go in. I don't think I need decontamination right now. I will undergo this procedure when I return to the probe. Yeah, select ID card. Oh, we don't have one. Observation. This piece of cloth once belonged to someone's uniform. I can see dark stains which resemble dried blood. Obtain sample, please. During the decontamination process, this pool gets filled with a liquid. No, I'm not playing as a robot, I'm playing as a survivor on a ship who has in orbit around this planet, who controls this probe, who has intelligence, and trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, metal plate. This metal plate looks as if it's out of place. Observation. It seems that something has slipped under it. Commentary. There is some sort of ID card stuck under the plate. Can you get it? Bingo. It's our ticket into the station. Shouldn't we close this valve here? There's nothing extraordinary about those handles. They were used by people who went through decontamination. I don't... Hey, what's the screen This thing? screen contains information about the station's decontamination module. Okay, let's go in. Alexander Inclay. Hello, is anybody home? Uh, I wouldn't ask for it. They're super. M my best guess: atomic super mutants. Observation: For some reason, the crew did not keep the station tidy. This violates protocol one seven forward slash nine seven zero. And for that, they should die. Oh my God, is he dead? I doubt anything could still be alive down there. But I was hoping that somehow. Remember. The station power was off. This planet is plagued with extremely strong radiation, and all the life support functions, such as oxygen, were turned off. Yeah, I understand. But still, he doesn't exactly look fresh. Julia, how long has it been since contact disappeared? Would you like me to recalculate the time span in Earth years? Years? It would have been approximately 60 Earth years. What? You let me sleep for 60 years? Your perception of time means very little to me, Rachel. Sixty years? Then nobody could have survived. I need to find out what happened. Why did they choose to stay here with such insane levels of radiation? Okay, I was my initial initial uh, initial uh, suggestion was right. There was a real big time gap between the escape from the burning ship, and Rachel's basically... This is interesting. They just left this box in the middle of the floor. No, this it's not interesting. 
They just left the box on the floor. Oh, what's that? Data pad. Locked! Uh, yeah, this will not work, I guess. Nano SD memory card. Uh, don't have that. Yeah. But we should take it with us. Um. Oh, work desk. Okay. This work desk once served as a multimedia station. It's broken, though. Aviation. Okay. Oh, he got messages. Remember that we are the last surviving members of this expedition. There's no excuse for mistakes. Any form of rules violation will be strictly punished. In other words, don't screw up or you have to deal with me. Attention to all personnel. An emergency meeting will be held tomorrow, 21-33-1929 at 7 a.m. Salina time. Salia time. Your presence is mandatory. Huh? Oh. Uh, are you online? I've got some big news. Dude, they are on the same station. Why WhatsApp? Why do they WhatsApp each other? Uh, what's that? Luck plans to blame it all on Cynthia. What is he thinking? No clue. Aren't you worried he can read our communication? At this point, I don't care. I'm still stuck in the lab. Any progress? Nope. Looks like a poison. But it really could have could be anything. Sorry, I have to go now before we got charged with abusing communications again. Okay. Pavel, I'm not sure what will happen. I have some of my notes in my data pad. Uh, my password is Xander. Okay, Xander756. In case anything happens to me, try to make use of it somehow. Oh. I mean, messages from the past. You could easily say this it has Bethesda stylish things, but it's not from Bethesda, so no interest. Testing! One, two, three! Xenophon says hello. Okay, sorry, I feel funny. I'm going to lie down. Uh, please tell Scott to drop by, he never checks his messages. Media gallery. Okay. Okay. That was it. Data pad! Then seven five six. Hey, what? Okay, Scott White. Oh, what? Dude, am I? Uh, where was it? Oh, it's from Pavel Charunuris, sir. Funny names. And this is from Scott White. Okay. The reinforced door is closed. Unfortunately, the opening mechanism is broken beyond repair. Station status screen. Okay. Commentary. The station status module is malfunctioning. I was unable to obtain any reasonable data. So... Observation. The chair fell over and was left there. Analysis. Either there was a fight, or someone tried to exit the room in haste. Uh, I have got a third proposition. I mostly kick uh, chairs over when I feel like it. So. Uh, maybe they have the same password. As a, this is what I don't like in, on point-and-click adventures. In 3D adventures, you would take you would take the data pads with you. But apart from the dust. Okay. Ghana. What is that? Okay, let's check out the entire... Oh, crate. Okay. There is nothing interesting inside. Ah, mystery, mystery. 
Uh, still, I still believe those super mutants killed them. Mutant atomic. Observation. The storage space opening mechanism is malfunctioning. There's no way to open it. Eh? Ah, some valuable nutrients and vitamins. Ah, okay. Now we got this. That's strange. The password should work. Maybe I need to look around for more clues. Or I type it in again. Okay, That's I'm not, strange. Not doing it the third time. Oh, another body? This is terrible. The corpse is a human male. I would estimate his age to be approximately 34 years. Observation. He has been shot in the head while sleeping. Damn! Commentary. This must have been done by either a mentally unstable or desperate person. A robot. Now you're guessing. Commentary. Someone threw the empty pack of nutrients on the ground. Observation. It seems that at a certain point, the crew stopped caring about their living conditions. Someone ripped the display from the wall. But why? Question. Was the entertainment program that bad? Probably. I am unable to distinguish anything usable among... Okay... Uh... Yeah, let's get out of here. Gan! Just an empty analysis. The shoe size matches the corpse on the bed. Hmm. The locker has been forced open. Another opened empty locker. This locker has been prior. Apology. I am unable. Apology. A broke. Why would someone do that? Okay, we... Uh, the central there. entertainment... Okay, there's something wrong here. Check the ventilation system. The ventilation system once provided fresh air to the whole station. Okay. Let's uh, click out the window. Okay. An empty drinking. Shouldn't we? Okay, I want to go out now. I'm gonna leave this room. Kind of depressing here. Uh... Oh. Oh, it's here. This closed door leads to the women's dormitory. Oh yeah. The ID card lock is broken and can't be fixed. Judging by the burn marks, it has been repeatedly shot with a laser gun. Uh, okay, I don't want to sound kind of douchey, but I restrain myself and not say anything about this. Okay, um, okay, someone was probably horny with a laser gun. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, they killed each other in a frenzy. Ganna. Okay, let's check out. I am. Un ah. Okay, we need more information here. Can I go in there? Probably not. 
Okay, we missed something. Oh yeah, we had uh, uh ah, same sample. Totally forgot to examine him. The body of a human male. Observation: There is an item in his pocket. Let me recover it. Lock Andrew. Okay. Damn. Waste of time. There is nothing. That's bullshit. It must be something obvious. That's not a lot of crude just yet. If she did that, she must be more clever than I thought. I don't care. Just nail it down. Let's make a nice trap for our little bird. Do you really think she's behind all this? Hell yes! Who else would it be, fellow Scott? Not bloody likely. You pretentious jerk! Who do you think you are? Crawl into s some hole and die, okay? There must be enough of them uh, on this stupid planet. Uh, I will not tolerate this! Yeah, right, you freak. I know it's you and I will get you sooner or later. Huh. Yeah. Uh, they analyzed the rocks. Huh. Kinda strange. Oh, to the, oh, okay, I, I missed that, okay. Ah, uh, Pavel Karonros, what an idiot! So we're supposed to write data pads daily? And not mention what happened and what he's going to do? Shoot us in the back if we do? Anyway, this place is weird. I have a feeling that something is really not right here. Why couldn't we stay at Zenobia? I'm absolutely sure we would have found something way more intriguing than the dirt and sand on this stupid rock. Life here? Yeah. We would have better chance. We would have have a better chance of finding life on Mars than on this marble. And after what we've already seen, it's just one more bullshit decision after another of bad management. So here you are, my mandatory daily record has been written. Happy now, Mr. Lark, sir. Okay. Tonight the nightmare returned. Okay, I'm walking, absolutely exhausting. Exhausted in the endless desert. I know that I am going to die soon. Suddenly the vision changes, and I am standing in the dense jungle. I am crawling slower and slower to a huge purple lake which miraculously appears in front of me. Lark approaches me and with a, a broad smile hands me a cup of jungle uh, of purple liquid from that lake. Huh? I take a sip and find out that it's extremely strong acid. The pain is unbearable, and I watch screaming as my body quickly disappears. I am glad that Alex woke me up. Strangely enough, uh, even after I woke up, I still felt the pain from my dream. Okay. Cancel. Forget the suggestion that uh, mutant superhuman monsters, atomic radiated aliens are on this planet. This is some... Probably uh, mental power thingy here. Okay, that could be atomic radiated super mutant dudes. Uh. Let's continue. Okay, it's day two on the, uh, on this useless planet, and still nothing to do, Mr. Lark. Sir is giving us stupid tasks to keep us occupied, but we've lost our mor morale anyway. Uh, is he waiting for something? If we have to sell the, uh, in, in the system and this is our only possibility for survival, this planet was the worst choice, and obviously we are, going, uh, we are doing nothing but wasting our precious time. I was sparring with Scott today, and was surprised how cool some, uh, cool some of his tricks are. His throwdowns are especially great and make uh, me want to try them on Lark. Also, it never gets old when Scott tries his levers. Uh, 
maybe one of these days they actually will start working on me. He reminds me of my old sparring partner, Gons Tordo. He thought he was uh, some kind of fighting wizard, but he never took me down either. But he was like a phoenix, he kept coming back for more. Okay, we must have caught some local virus. No medic remains uh, on board. Luck doesn't trust Cynthia, so it's up to me to supposedly find out what's going on. Ah. Curiously enough, we've sent our data to Jay, and she was unable to find anything out of, of the norm. We did notice the weird red skin color, as if we have inflammation. However, all the analyzed data are in normal ranges, so she suggested that it's just some temporary pigmentation. Okay. But where did the sudden uh, nausea came from? If I wasn't feeling so bad, I would actually be grateful for having a task to solve. Oddly enough, I've never had a real headache in my life, so this has caught me completely unprepared. I'm feeling like hell, so I will try to sleep it off for now. Okay, let's skip that. Everyone is feeling sick now. Have we contracted some kind of undetectable alien virus? It's getting all of us! Alex was unable to get up today! Okay. And his hair started to fall out. Hmm? How far is this going? Lark has gone crazy, has a theory that something is here with us. He set up a station watch and assigned Scott to the first shift. I'm going to rest now. Okay. Barth has finally died, he knew that he didn't have one, but uh, never imagine he would take the last of us, of us with him. Okay, they're killing each other off. A nightmare. Oh! Locker code. Nine seven eight one two five. Increment his pass. He incremented his data pad passport by one. Break into it. Okay. He incremented his passport. Okay. Ah. Okay. So he changed the password. I went back. Some other keys? Nope. Let's get out of here. Uh, okay. Uh, eight, six, seven. Are you shitting me? That's strange. The password should work. He incremented his password, okay. Uh, so and One. Okay. So let's try the locker room. Ah, oh, damn, I mistyped it. Nine, seven, eight, one, two, five. Look, he hid his ID card in there. You have very good eyes, Rachel. Okay, I got his ID card. Hey, maybe he had another. Huh. Okay. Uh. 
Okay, memory started real issue. Today it's been five minutes remembering my phone call. Okay. Alex I knew he was coming because he was barely breathing and coughing. He incremented his data pad password by one. Okay, maybe an additional. And eh? Okay. I'm I took it the wrong way with the incrementation. Okay. Our first Xenophon briefing. I'm so tired, but at least this plan looks quite uneventful. Da -da -da, let's guess. Then started pe things started to get weird. Mm -hmm, but the morning there's something wrong with Pavel. He won't sh but he won't share. Once again I had to wake him up because he was screaming as if he wanted it in extreme pain. We are getting sick. I kept throwing up today, and uh, I can tell I'm not alone. Uh, some alien disease. Li Zhang, what Zhang, Zhang, caught something much worse than the rest of us. Her hair has started to fall out in patches. Okay. Today I spent countless hours with Bart trying to restore communication with Julia. It looks as if someone sabotaged the data channels. Is there a hidden traitor among us? Oh, this is getting... What a horrible day! I got the same shit as Lee, and my hair is now falling out like hell. Barth told me she, uh, he changed the laboratory code, the code to... Uh, 014563? Because they don't trust Cynthia. Why Cynthia? She would never kill anyone. I don't have much energy left, but I like... To tell those idiots how gentle she is. Anyway, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, and then he died. That's kind of sad. Let's check out the laboratory. Should we? No, let's go. Let's go back. Control room and try out the... True message! Remember that we are the last surviving members of this expedition. There's no excuse for mistakes. The, the, I read that. Ah, the other side. Okay, are you online? I've got some big news. What's that? Okay, that's the other side of the conversation we read before. Got white. Okay, nah, that's one hell of a fight. Yeah, I've got a good, uh, I've got, you've got quite good. Still don't understand how you got away from uh, that lever. Okay, they're just talking about. Huh? Some more data. You f but can't you somehow find his data pad password? I guess we could learn lo a lot there. Uh, I tried to spy on him. I got as far as seeing that he starts entering his full name and adds some long name number. Try harder. Okay. Barth destroyed the hovercraft? Okay. One part of Barth. Uh huh. Full name and then a long number. Okay. It looks like a like a poison. Any evidence of thallium in any uh, thing we have here? Nope, I don't think so. But the symptoms are all over the place. Lee and her hair. Ab abnormal pains. Everything. Abnormal. <laughs> yeah, or it's some super secret alien virus. Oh, shut up. Seriously, I have some a bad feeling about this. You will see. Let's just stay put. The last thing I want to have around here is some bloody hysteria. Okay, I have to retract my... first hypothesis. Probably no super atomic radiated super mutants. Just your average day psychopath killed this crew and sabotaged the ship. Hey, wanna meet tonight? What's up? Just thought you could help me with something. Sorry. I'm a bit busy. Maybe another time. Busy in here? One of us is actually 
has to do something. Okay. Pictures of a rock. Okay. Okay, scan. This is... Oh, really? That's not why it's... Andrew Park. The ID card lock is... How can we repair that? I am... Oh, wait. Uh... Was the code again? Oh, one, four, five, six, three. Aha! Ah, the electrical charge, uh, the electrical issue. Ah, this, I'm just. A, this is just a robot I control, so I can live without it. Scrap pad. Those okay. simple digital scrap pads are used to write notes. His name was Barth Krilov. And a really long number for his one, okay. What is this device? Observation. It looks like a makeshift device. It was probably constructed from other devices. Can you be more specific? It looks like a Geiger counter. The parts came from the demolished hovercraft we saw outside. That's pretty ingenious. Commentary. Why would they need to measure radiation when the central computer was equipped with sophisticated radiation detectors? Even my sensors detected radiation right away. Perhaps they broke. Okay. Okay, let's check this room out. <laughs> 